Be a partaker of God's blessings as you listen to the word of God by Prophet Samuel Kakande. For him whom God has sent, he speaks the word of God, as mentioned in John chapter 3, verse 34. Listen. Before we continue, when they met the blind man, they asked Jesus a question. Who sinned? This man? Or his parents? John 9. First verse. Now, as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? These are the questions. Whenever people see you, what happened to him? All this misfortune. His parents? He's a thief. He's a witch. What is it? Chidala. Jesus did not waste time. Him as a restorer of life. Yeah, Peace and joy. He said, when I'm in the world, I'm the light of the world. We must do the works of him who sent me. When it is during day, night is coming, when no man can walk. I'm reading John 9, verse 4. I must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no one can walk. As long as I'm in the world, I'm the light of the world. These are your days to receive a miracle. So these are my days to receive a miracle. I can't wait. I can't wait. These are my days. Those who want to commit their life to Jesus, repeat after me. Say, oh Lord Jesus, I'm here to meet you and rededicate my life forever for you. As I meet you today, Lord Jesus, give me all the answers. God bless you all. The restorer of life, Jesus Christ himself, clearly tells us in the book of John chapter 9 that when I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Night is coming when no man can walk. Just like it was the right time for Jesus Christ to heal the blind man, so are these your days and the right time for you to receive your miracle. No healer like the Lord Jesus Christ. She has difficulty in walking and sitting for long because of lower abdominal pain. You can see the tears. She's crying. She has a lot of pain with numbness. All resulting from a right ovarian cyst. And for now, two weeks, the pain is so much. She's not stable in her movement. Jamila. Jamila. Christ Jesus is healing you. You touch my stomach. Hallelujah! Watch Lady Jamila! Just as the woman of the hemorrhage in Mark 5.25 touched the garment of Jesus Christ, so did Lady Jamila touch the stomach of Prophet Samuel Kakande and her stomach pain was no more. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let us clap for Jesus the healer. Having got such an amazing and instant healing, what could Lady Jamila have done apart from dancing and giving glory to God? Brethren, these are your days.
Jesus is the healer, brethren. And before the man of God is a lady by the name of Ochaya Beatrice. She has come with a lot of difficulty in rising up because of abdominal pain. With a pelvic inflammatory disease. Brethren, watch the agony. Even rising up is a problem. She has an ovarian cyst. The lady's in a lot of pain. What? She can't even walk by herself. For a whole year, she's in pain. Watch the man of God is stepping on her foot, trampling upon all the sickness. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. With God, all things are possible. My name is Beatrice Ochaya. I could is Zombo district. I've been in pain for a long time. For a long time. For a whole one year. How are you feeling now? Now I do not feel any pain in my stomach. The encounter that Lady Beatrice had with the restorer of life, Jesus Christ, could not leave her in pain. Her joy had no bounds. This is Lady Nalumansi Shamira. She can't rise up or walk without support because of severe pain. Watch, Watch the agony, brethren. She has a very painful operation site for one week. And the wound became septic. She has come to meet Jesus. Watch brethren, the agony she's going through to rise up. She needs to be supported. Even walking is a problem. This is her time. You can walk now. Don't run. Thank you, Jesus. The lady is walking. Clap for the healer. I thank Jesus for healing me. I was in excessive pain. From the time I left hospital. With the authority given unto him in Luke 10:19, Prophet Samuel Kakande only stepped on the foot of Lady Shamila, trampling upon all the pain and sickness, and all her trouble became history. Being moved by the Holy Ghost, as mentioned in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 21, Prophet Samuel Kakande revealed the root cause of Lady Shamila's problem and he exposed the enemy's trap for her life. You dreamed that you were sliding, but you didn't complete a fall down. My name is, My name is Nalumansi Shamira from Chireka. What the man of God has said is true. I don't know what the man of God has said is true. He has prophesied to me about a dream I get in which I see myself falling or sliding, but I don't totally fall down. It is true. Even when I was sleeping there, it happened. As I was sleeping there, I dreamt when I'm falling, but I did not reach down. So this issue is not small as you think. It needs to be cleared. That is why they operated here. Because the enemy has worked out a trap to kill you. You are free. Now, the death issue has gone. Who is she to you? She's my grandmother. But she has a problem. My grandma, you have a problem. 
there is something which comes to you in breathing and you feel <laughs> My name is Susan Nachiyenji. Man of God, what you have said is true. Man of God, what you have said is true. Man of God, what you have said is true. Man of God, what you have said is true. Man of God, what you have said is true. I've taken 10 years with high blood pressure. So whenever something troubles me, then I get that attack that you've prophesied about. Father, we stop this sudden death and accidents in the family. In Jesus' holy name. Thanks be to God who reveals to save. The moment the root cause was revealed, Lady Shamila and her entire family were set free from such sudden death. Jesus did not waste time. Him as a restorer of life. Peace and joy. He said, when I'm in the world, I'm the light of the world. We must do the works of him who sent me when it is during the day. Has difficulty in walking for long. She has severe pain in the back and yetting to you, both legs. You woman, you just need to forgive. You have an issue with the, the children. I'm called Nabawanuka Chuanuka Esther. Man of God, what you have said concerning forgiving. Man of, Man of God, what you've said is true. When I send my children to help me in some something or to obey me, they don't obey me. So if I feel that they've delayed, I get annoyed and I don't forgive them. Remember that home when you are going there. Their old coffee plantation and it's a bit dry. Man of God, what you're saying is true. The home you've talked about, I know it. Why is it? The coffee trees and the old house. That is our home in Kamuli. And uh, you are saying that you have this spirit of anger. Even your father had the same. Where is him? Man of God, my father died. It is because of the shrine issue. They got conflicts. And uh, demons came to kill him. Man of God, what you have said is true. At our home, they built a shrine. So my father was a Christian. So when they built that shrine, my father became so angry and burnt away that shrine. And even got the twin rituals. My father got the twin rituals, threw them away, and others he burnt them. So this is the issue now. What you are calling anger. You people, you are mad. You have spirit of madness. Six of you, mad. Man of God, what you have said is true. You have a spirit of madness. The time my father produced us, he was an old man. He told us that the first person to run mad was his auntie. And she died old and mad. All my aunties. Basatu. Three of them. Three of them. Three of them. 
The last aunt who has died has died at 87 years, but I've never seen her when she's not mad. My elder has girls who are mad. Babidi. They are two. Oh, Mukuru. The elder one. Yalaluka Limusinia two. Ren mad in senior two. Edava Dabula. She has been getting lost and disappearing. Kati Alimumiaka Satu. Now she's 30 years of age. But she ran mad when she was very young. And she disappeared now. When she got lost, she got an accident from there. They found her in Mulago Hospital. Now she's in a wheelchair. And she's at home. Man of God, what you have said is true. Could you imagine that the spirit of anger this lady had to the extent of getting annoyed with her children was actually a genetic madness in their family? Who could know this apart from the revealer of secrets, God Almighty, through the seer, Prophet Samuel Kakande? Formerly in Israel, when a man went to inquire of God, thus he spoke, Come, let us go to a seer, for he who is now called a prophet was formerly called a seer. You bring all your children, they all need prayer. Thank you, you are free. Some sister is seated here and she's saying now, Will he talk about that man? But that man annoyed me. Should I abandon him? Should I stay with him? Okay. Be seated here. The sovereign Lord says in Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 17 that mine eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from mine eyes. Look at how the perfect eye of God spotted out a lady from the congregation. Let's see what happened. I'm called Ampile Caroline. I come from Mokono. I work from Colin Hotel as a waitress. What the man of God has said is true. And the man he has talked about, he has spoken hey. about, I'm with him here. The time I met him, I was in senior two, and for him, he was in senior six. We were studying together in Central View, Mikono, but when they got that I'm in love with him, they separated us and they took me back to Ginger. I kept on showing him too much love, but he was not minding about me. I kept on calling him. Sometimes he could switch me off. Sometimes he could pick my calls. So he annoyed me so much. One time I called him. Just interested. And he told me that I'm doing it for you, but I'm not interested in you and I don't love you. I insisted on calling him and one time even gave the call to another woman he was with and he said, talk to her, me I don't want to know. I kept, on, I kept on praying so hard that God helped me that I can forget this man. Time came, I forgot all about him and I got another boyfriend. When I got another boyfriend, I found out that he has different characters from this one. Nanda Garav. He showed me love. Ono Jayali Tanda Ganga. Kale Yalinga Anchagaranga Neguya. 
He showed me the love I always desired. Interested in me. And was more interested in me. Unfortunately, I didn't know But unfortunately, that other boyfriend I got had another wife. They were separating because of me. So they separated. This gentleman called me. Nangamba Karo. Nangamba Karo. Nzevisenti eyalibau. He told me, Carol, I'm the Vincent who was formerly your husband. But I also still loved him. So I told him I will not forgive you. He told me, Carol, I love you. How dare you say that you love me, yet you always used to give the calls to your for my wives, and they could talk to me. Oh no, boyfriend, I'm going to have fun. So the other day, I was down, good day, carrying on, good day, poroti. I turn, turn the sekuzimba na ye. So this other boyfriend I got, he had so far bought me a plot of land, and we had started constructing a house with him. Era ne mugamanti ni no no. And I told him, now I have this one. Msaji wa katunda chayo ge debo chitu funda ba oli abada nyonyo ne debo nyonyo ebise labiye. So what the man of God has said is true. The other one wasted a lot of his time on me, but he had children and he has a wife. But me, I didn't have anything. Man of God, so man of God, I've been asking myself, should I stay with this gentleman or I stay with the other? Who loves you? Ani Akwagala. Oli. It's the other one. And whom do you love? I love this one. If you ask anything in my name, I'll do it. John 14. John 14. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. I'm called Mugume Vincent. What the man of God has said is true. And the girl next to me, whatever she has said, she has not lied. But as we are before God, the time when she loved me, we were still young. Do you love her? Man of God, I love her. No, I'm sorry, boy, yes, In the mighty name of Jesus, we are going to be able to do it. We are going to In a lot of excitement, as Lady Caroline asked the man of God that she wants to have twins, immediately the Spirit of God moved the man of God. And we see the man of God moving to the fruit basket and he picks four apples. What could be the reason? Listen to what God has to say. Here are the children. For Jesus, we are so mungalo. That and some more of your funa. You dreamt that you were in a new house. Walo tangola boli mu new bempia. Nalo ta sebo. I dreamt it. That, that is your house. Eno yu new bempia. That is where you are taking her. Eno yu mutuwa la kalurai. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
I only know what Jesus said. That they are four kids. Because of this man, he asked for four kids. Man of God, what you have said is true. In my heart, I want four kids. God doesn't do mistakes. He's our creator. A righteous God. Your situation does not embarrass Jesus. No matter what you're going through, once you run to God, a solution appears.